is Ten Hag at fault for the miserable defeat to Fulham today? Let's find out the truth together. The first thing is that the stats are a lie. If you look at the stats, it says that Manchester United was the better team because we had more position, more shots. We had the better attack threat map and that we had the XG. That's all a lie. We were absolutely garbage in this game and we deserve to lose. Let's take a look at a few reasons why it's Ten Hag's fault. The first reason is the substitutes he made. As soon as Casemiro got injured, he decided to bring on Eriksen and McTominay. It was at that point we lost the game. Eriksen was useless from the moment he stepped foot on the pitch till the end of the game. He was slow. He couldn't tackle. He couldn't complete his passes. He couldn't even stop Adama Traore at the end. If he fouled Adama Traore, just take a yellow card. We wouldn't have considered that goal. Because McGuire was already at a yellow card. He couldn't make that tackle. Eriksen should have been the one to just kick him. Just to tackle him. Bring him down. Stop the goal. But he was useless. The other player, McTominay. McTominay pushed Bruno out to right wing. That's what Ten Hag decided. Bruno, who can't even perform in his number 10 role currently. He was pushed out to right wing. He, like an even worse performance than usual from Bruno because of that. The subs were awful. His other fault is is that why is Lindelof playing left back? I know we don't have any other fullbacks. But at least play him right back. Lindelof has played right back at a decent level under Ole and Mourinho. Dallow can play left back and Lindelof can play right back. Why was Lindelof left back? Whenever he has played left back, he has been total garbage. But he still decided to do it. I think we could have played a lot better if Dallow was left back and Lindelof right back. But... Ten Hag made that mistake. And I don't know what's going on with the set pieces. Every set piece is being taken short. And even after taking short, nothing happens. I'm so glad that our set piece coach Eric Ramsey is leaving the club because he's awful. We don't score from set pieces, but we concede a ton from them. Even Fulham's first goal was from the set piece. I'm so glad he's just leaving. And the last fault is his strategy. During the first 20 minutes of both halves, United had zero energy. We couldn't press, we couldn't pass, we couldn't create any chances. That's all because of the strategy. Fulham probably had like 2 or 3 chances in the first 20 minutes to go 2 or 3 nil up. Moniz had a chance which Onana saved. Iwobi had a clear chance which he probably should have scored. Iwobi had another chance which he hit on the post. They could have gone 3 nil up in 20 minutes. That's how lethargic, that's how slow the start was. We are playing one game a week and yet all of these players look tired. Like they couldn't run for 20 minutes. If you have liked my video so far then I would really appreciate if you can click on the like button below. Now, let's talk about the reasons why it was not Eric Ten Hag's fault. The biggest reason is our injuries. I even talked about it in my previous video. That our medical department is probably the worst in the league. We only have had our full squad, our full starting 11 for just 3 or 4 games. We had it in January for 2 games, then Martinez out, then Shaw out, then Hoyland out, and now Casemiro out. It's not just those Malasia out, Mound out, Martial out. So we have a squad which doesn't have a natural left back. We don't have players who are DMs. We don't have players who is a striker. There is no other club in the Premier League who is in such a bad situation with with the squad. No other team, not even Sheffield. And this is because of our board. Going into January, every single fan could see we needed more transfers and that we definitely needed a striker. And what did our board decide to do? They decided not to get anyone in, right? Not only that, they even decided to cancel Regulon's loan. That's so stupid. I can't understand that. Like, not only are you signing anyone, you are even trimming the squad down more just to save a few million pounds in the January transfer window. They decided not to sign anyone. Like, not to sign Werner on loan who went to Spurs in the end and to cancel Reglon's loan deal to save a few extra pounds. Because of that decision, the club will lose tens of millions of pounds because we definitely won't finish in the top four anymore. The other reason is lack of effort from the players. The number one player who can be said about this is Rashford. 
we all know Ra- Rashford can play a striker, right? That he is only a counter-attack player. He is better on the wings. But even then, he should see that how bad the squad is currently and that he needs to put in an effort. He needs to run. How many times have we seen Holland initiating the press? Running like crazy to initiate the press, even if he's alone. Not only that, Hoyland even runs back to make tackles in our own half. But Rashford doesn't do that. Rashford just stops running. Then he throws his arms around. But it's not all his fault. Rashford in this game had again zero chances created for him. He only received 19 passes throughout the whole game. That's a consistent problem with the squad. And the other player, Bruno. Bruno makes an effort. But it's an effort for all the wrong reasons. There's a simpler pass available, but he'll go for the Hollywood pass. There's a simpler action available, like just cutting it back. No, he'll take a shot from a crazy angle. That's destroying our gameplay, to be honest. Bruno has massively fell off since he joined us. When he joined us, he was the definition of clinical. His pass, on the point. His shot, on the point. Now, there's nothing like that. I don't know if it's because he's just tired or he's under too much pressure or he thinks he has to be the one who has to do everything, but this Bruno is not working and he will get himself sent out of the squad if he keeps doing it like this. Now, the biggest criticism currently is that people are saying ETH doesn't have a style of play, that this team doesn't have a style of play. And I agree, we don't. But how can you have a style of play with this current group of players? Our style of play last season was based on the fact that we had players available. Lissandro was a backbone to pass between the lines. Shaw was the backbone to put in good, good crosses. Casemiro is our backbone to hold the line. Hoyland is our backbone because he can hold the play up and he's clinical. We have none of that currently. Maguire is playing fine but he cannot hold a high line. We don't even have our natural left back. Casemiro keeps getting injured and for some reason Amrabat isn't playing. Hoyland is injured, Martial is injured and Rashford can't play there. How can you have a style of play with these group of players who have consistently underperformed under all of our past managers? These are the same group of players who have survived Van Hal, Mourinho, Ole, Ragnik and now Tenag. Same group. The thing about this is, football is a very cruel game. Right after winning the game against Luton, we were all dreaming of a top 4 finish. Now, within a week, not only might we go out of the top 4 race completely, we might even exit out of the FA Cup. We have lost against Fulham. Next week, we have to travel to Etihad. We'll definitely, most definitely, lose that game. So, that's top 4 gone. Not only that, we have to play an away game to Nottingham Forest on Wednesday for the FA Cup round. We might lose that as well because we have the weakest squad currently. So from one week of going hopeful to next week of despair of going out of Europe, going out of FA Cup. That's how cruel football is. Now people are saying we should hire other managers like Nagelsmann and Tuchel. Do you seriously believe that Nagelsmann or Tuchel, if we hire them right now, right the second, that they can get United to top four? That they can get United to top 4 without a left back, without a DM, without a striker, without a bench. Can Are they those type of geniuses who can do that? I don't think so. I don't think any manager who comes to United can perform in this in this environment. And that's what Ineos have said as well. No matter who the manager is, there needs to be a complete rebuild in the summer. We cannot do anything with this group of players and that's showing time and time year after year again we had a similar performance last week where we played terribly but we won that game and that was a looting game if you would like to know about my thoughts on that game then you can check this video right here and i would also like to thank these supporters who have been giving very positive comments that means a lot to me i'll see you all in my next video probably after the nottingham forest game goodbye